Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my performance review of the Air Jordan 36. So uh, this shoe is going for 185 bucks, which is freaking expensive with tax, it's pretty much 200 bucks. So if you guys do wanna get it, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. There are some dope colorways available, but let's get it start off with the Tractiones, right? So the traction in this colorway, it, we have a fully translucent outsole and it's freaking amazing, guys. So on a clean court, you're gonna be stopping on a dime. It has a phenomenal bite, a uh, pretty much top tier bite on a clean court. As far as on a dusty setting, it's pretty good, right? So it definitely does pick up dust, but it doesn't pick it up that fast, which is a good thing. You know, I'd say around like every three to four plays. Uh, also, it's not, it's not the easiest to wipe, but it's also not hard to wipe off the dust, right? So if you know, when you're playing, it picks up dust and you want to wipe it off. I'd say just like two easy wipes and it's clean and you're good to go. So on a dusty setting, it's not the best for dust, but it's pretty damn good. You know, I didn't really have a whole lot of issues playing on a dusty setting. Just remember to wipe and you'll be good to go. Uh, and also, um, it's not like, you know, if dust gets really stuck on there, you're going to be sliding around. It's going to be dangerous. It's just, it's just like not that good of a bite. That's it. So that's also a good thing. So, you know, you don't have to worry about getting injured. Uh, and like slipping on and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the durability goes, I did not play outdoors in this shoe, so take it with a grain of salt, but uh, just feeling with my hands, I mean, the rubber grooves are pretty deep and the rubber is kind of hard, but I guess the grooves are a little bit thin, right? Not as thin as the 35, but still kind of thin here in the 36. So I feel like, you know, outdoor you should be okay, but I don't think it'll be the best option. So as far as the traction goes, it was really, really good, pretty much top tier traction. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition, which is pretty important to me. So here in the heel, we have a pretty nice, or actually a very nice curve shape, which I really like, and a fully exposed midsole. And the midsole is soft. So um, yeah, you don't feel clunky here at all here in the heel. Here in the forefoot, we have a very nice curved shape and a good amount of forefoot flex. So a uh, heel to toe transition is actually pretty damn smooth. And also arch support is very, very good. I don't know how they did it, but it's probably because of, they're not calling it an eclipse plate, but uh, that's just what I'm gonna call it. Uh, this just, you know, has really, really good arch support. So heel to toe transition, it feels very, very smooth in transition. And uh, now moving on to the cushioning setup. So the cushioning setup is super nice. So the Jordan 36 is using a full length zoom strobe unit, which is pretty much right underneath your foot. Uh, the insole that they're using isn't very nice. I mean, it's pretty cool looking. There are holes in it to expose the actual zoom unit, I guess, but it doesn't really expose too much because the zoom strobe unit is covered by a cloth, kind of like the PG4. Other shoes like the Zoom GT Cut and like the KD13 and the KD14 don't have that cloth over the unit, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they did that in the 36, but anyways, it pretty much feels the same. It's super bouncy. You get a good amount of compression and right underneath your foot. And then, like I mentioned, the foam is actually pretty soft, especially here in the heel, right? I would say out of the Jordan 34, the 35 and the 36, the 36 has the softest foam. I'm not sure what they're using. It's probably just Phylon, but uh, they actually made it quite soft. So I like that. So out of the first step, you know, you're going to feel very, very explosive, very bouncy, pretty damn responsive as well with good impact protection. As far as the court feel goes though, I wouldn't say it's the best court feel, but also it's not terrible. I would say it's just average court feel. So if you've tried a full length zoom struggle unit and you like how it feels and you want to feel super bouncy, then this is a great shoe to get. Of course, if you don't like that sensation, then obviously probably stay away from it, but I really like it. So this cushioning setup is, is really good for me. All right, moving on to the material. So here in the Jordan 36, they're calling this a leno weave material. And here in the toe box and also coming here into the midfoot area, it pretty much stays paper thin. Like if you look very closely, if you look at the macro shot, actually, it's pretty much a ribbon type of material, probably just kind of like a, like a you know plastic probably with some TPU strands going horizontal to it. And there's nothing backing it up, like nothing underneath. There's generally a very thin material underneath that, right? But if you look at the Jordan 36, it's pretty much see-through, <laughs> you know? So like, I guess that's cool. Like if you want to wear different colored socks, then you can definitely see, it kind of shows through this material and you can kind of get a little bit of a different look. But anyways, yeah, this material is extremely thin. Here around the perimeter of the toe box, we have some, it's kind of like a fused material, you know, but it's, it's like a synthetic suede for extra added durability and support. But yeah, it feels extremely minimal and it feels very comfortable and there's pretty much no break in time needed. 
Uh, as far as the tongue goes, here at the start of the tongue, it's made of like a neoprene material. It's pretty stretchy. And then coming here on top of the tongue, we have some synthetic materials with, I would say like a minimal amount of padding. No, it's not crazy padded or anything. And here in the ankle area, it's not crazy padded either. I do miss the Achilles pillows, you know, that the Jordan 35 had, but it's not a huge deal. So yeah, when you have the shoe on, this upper feels extremely minimal. There's not a whole lot of padding to it either. So I really like it. And I also didn't really have any issues with durability. So there is the materials there. Moving on to the fit, you know, I'll go true to size, but it fits really, really snug, right? So I like my shoes to fit super snug and the shoe fits very snug. It pretty much fits like the KDs, you know, so it's pretty damn narrow, very tight here in the toe box. So if you don't like that and you want a little bit more relaxed fit, I would suggest going up half a size. If you have a very thick or wide foot, I would probably suggest going up a full size. That's how snug the fit is here in the toe box. And uh, it didn't really loosen up all too much. You know, I would say a little bit here in the toe box, but it's still pretty damn snug for me. So like I said, I went true to size. Lengthwise, I was good. Here in the toe box, it was nice and snug. And widthwise, I uh, slightly narrow. So uh, very snug and very nice fit for me. Moving on to the support and lockdown. I mean, it is a Jordan shoe. And I don't think, I, like, I don't really remember uh, playing in the Jordan shoe that had bad support, right? So, I mean, usually, or all the time, actually, Jordan shoes have very, very good support. And the Jordan 36 is no exception, right? So for lateral containment, the Jordan 36 is amazing. So here in the forefoot, we can see the foam coming up a lot to act as a sidewall. And then also, like I mentioned before, we have like the material here in the middle of the toe box is pretty soft. But once you go around the perimeter where this kind of like fuse material is, it's kind of glued down, it's pretty stiff. So uh, here in the forefoot, you're good to go. Here in the midfoot, the foam is still there. And then we have the clips plate. And then here in the heel, we have the foam and an internal TPU heel counter. So basically for lateral containment, your foot's gonna be contained into the shoe. My foot was not moving out of the footbed at all. Also, like I mentioned, we have the, like I said, it's not the eclipse plate, but I'll just call it that. We do have this plate here underneath your foot. And then here kind of like on top of the rubber outsole, we have another plastic plate. And you can definitely see through it. It's a great aesthetic. And of course, it's really good for torsional support and also arch support. And then for lateral stability, I also had no issues. There's really no outrage but the midsole does protrude out a good amount. So I don't really have any issues with my foot feeling unstable or anything. As far as the ankle support goes, um, it is pretty much like a mid to a high top shoe. And uh, there's really none. Even when I tighten the laces pretty tight, uh, I don't know what it is, but this part is pretty soft, right? It, there is a little bit of like foam, but it's soft. It's not super rigid or anything. So it doesn't restrict ankle movement that much. So I would say it pretty much feels like the KD14. It pretty much plays like a low top and it doesn't give you a whole lot of ankle support, which I did like. You know, I like these playing shoes where uh, my ankle doesn't feel too restricted, right? So that's a good thing for me. But if you want ankle support, uh, this shoe doesn't really have any. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. Jordan Brand said this is the lightest Jordan shoe that they've ever made in this line. And that was true. You know, we saw that in the first impressions and this shoe is super light and it comes in at 11.82 ounces. It's not super duper light, but it's still pretty damn light, especially comparing it to like his older shoes, like the Jordan 33. The 33 was insanely heavy. It was like 16 ounces. Remember the fast fit system and stuff. So yeah, 11.82 ounces. They've come a long way and the upper definitely does help with that. And also coring out the midsole uh, with this eclipse plate uh, definitely does help with that as well uh, because the midsole does take up a good amount of weight. You know, the midsole and outsole take up the majority of the weight in the shoe. So they did a good job in shedding off a lot of the weight here in the 36. And yeah, it feels light. It feels super minimal, especially for the upper. And you feel very responsive and explosive, right? So the zoom in it helps you feel bouncy and explosive, especially when you're going off that first step. And also the traction is super good. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to feel very responsive and very quick when you're playing in this shoe. Uh, moving on to the ventilation, uh, as you guys could have guessed, it's really, really good. So this upper, there's a crazy amount of airflow, right? So yeah, <laughs> so your foot is going to feel very, very cool in this shoe. As far as the aesthetics go, I love it. Uh, the colorways that are coming out is super dope, like the white and gold one. And then this Rui Hachimura colorway, or I guess PE, the Jason Tatum PE, and also the Luka Doncic PE is also really cool. So uh, yeah, I love the aesthetics. I love the uh, the clip plate. You know, I love how this looks as well. So yeah, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, the Jordan 36 is one of my favorite shoes to play in right now. I absolutely love it. Uh, one thing I wish it did a little bit better is its performance on dust. You know, it, like I said, it wasn't terrible, but I just wish, you know, I, I don't really like to wipe. You know, I just 
like to play. So uh, I definitely noticed myself wiping a, a good amount more actually in the 36 as compared to like the KD14 or like the Create where, you know, they're really good uh, for performance on dust. Uh, but like I said, that's a super minor thing. Uh, everything else about the shoe, I absolutely love. The cushion is super nice. The, the bite is really nice when, it, when you wipe. Material is super thin, support's really great. The fit is really good for me as well. So yeah, I feel like this is an all around great shoe and I feel like most people will enjoy it. You know, whatever position you play, if you're a guard, if you wanna feel quick and explosive, this is a great shoe. If you're a bigger dude and you want good impact protection and you wanna feel that zoom unit and you wanna feel very supported, then this is also a great option. I feel like Jordan Brand just did a really good job in making an all around shoe so that most people and most play styles can you know, enjoy it, right? So anyways, that's my review of the Jordan 36. It is Soul Brothers approved and definitely go ahead and check this shoe out. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.